Hi, let's discuss the solution of the given question here. What is the given question? The term independent of x in the expansion of x plus 1 by x power 2 by 3 minus x power 1 by 3 plus 1 that is the first term minus x minus 1 by x minus x power 1 by 2 whole power 10 is. Here simply our task is to calculate the independent term of x in the given expansion. But here the given expansion is very lengthy. First let's simplify it by using a simple logic and then we find the independent term of x. Solution. Solution. First let's write the given expansion that is x plus 1 by x power 2 by 3 minus x power 1 by 3 plus 1. I am writing very small letters. Minus x minus 1 by x minus x power 1 by 2 whole power 10. Now in the next step which is equal to if you observe the first term in the denominator there is x power 2 by 3 some x power 1 by 3 is there. So now I am adjusting the numerator also like that. See here suppose if you take x, x can be written as x power 1 by 3 whole cube plus 1 cube. 1 can be written as 1 cube by by x power 2 by 3 minus x power 1 by 3 plus 1. So first term is over. Now minus. Here also I am going to write this. There is a 1 by 2 is there. x can be written as 1 by 2 whole square minus 1 square by. Here there is x minus x power 1 by 2 is there. I can take x power 1 by 2 as a common. Here there is a, I am writing root x here outside. Here there is a root x minus 1 means root x means x power 1 by 2 whole power 10. So in the next step we can apply here suppose if you observe the numerator there is a a cube plus b cube form. So we knew that the formula. What is the formula for a cube plus b cube a cube plus b cube equals to a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square. Now let us apply that formula here. Here a, cube, a plus b means x power 1 by 3 plus 1 into a square. a square means x power 1 by 3 whole square means x power 2 by 3. Next plus, I am writing very small. Next, uh, a minus a b. Here there is a minus a b. a equal to 1 and b is x power 1 by 3. It, that means a equal to x power 1 by 3 and b equals to 1. Finally, we are getting minus x power 1 by 3 plus b square by numerator right as it is x power 2 by 3 next to minus x power 1 by 3 plus 1. This is the adjustment minus minus here a square minus b square means a plus b into a minus b. See here the already a minus b is there means so, so x power 1 by 2 minus 1 a minus b a minus b gets cancelled finally it remains a plus b that is what root x root x plus 1 by root x plus 1 by there is a root x already is there there is a root x whole power how much 10 here in the next step see the, if you observe the first term x power, two by, x power 2 by 3 minus x power 1 by 3 plus 1 is there by in the denominator also the same term is there both are gets cancelled finally it becomes which is equals to what is that? x power 1 by 3 plus 1. Remains, it is a first term, x power 1 by 3. See, this is a, let me write, let me write, it will be bigger, x power 1 by 3 plus 1. This is a plus 1. Next, minus root x by x. Means, minus 1, there is a minus 1. Already, next, minus 1 by root x means x power minus 1 by 2 x power minus x power 1 by 2 whole power 10. So this is the simplified expression C which is equal to the next step plus 1 minus 1 gets cancelled x power 1 by 3 minus x power 1 by minus 1 by 2. This is 1 by root x means minus 1 by 2. This is 3. See x power minus 1 by 2 whole power 10. So this is the expansion. So at last after simplifying we got it this entire expansion this is expression means expression equals to x power 
1 by 3 minus x power minus 1 by t 1 by 2 whole power 10. Now we will try to find the independent term of x that is the we have to calculate coefficient of x power 0. First let us write the general term of a binomial expansion. Here it is in the form of x minus y whole power n means t r plus 1. This is the general this is the general term. Now minus 1 whole power r into n c r x power n minus r into y power r. This is the formula for general term t r plus 1. Now let us substitute which is equals to minus 1 whole power right as it is n means here n equals to 10. The power is 10. 10 c r into what is x here clearly x means x power 1 by 3 x power 1 by 3 whole power 10 minus r into what is y here y power r means here what is y x power minus 1 by 2 means x power whole power r means x power minus r by 2 now in the next step which is equals to minus 1 whole power r 10 c r into x power 10 minus r by 3 here minus r by 2. So in the next step which is equal to minus 1 whole power r 10 c r into x power see take LCM as is 6 now you can take 6 by 3 is 2 this is 20 minus 2 r next step. 6 by 2 means 3 minus 3 r minus 3 r which is equal by 6 by 6 see that's it now in the next step which is equal to minus 1 whole power r 10 c r into x power 20 minus 5 r by 6 20 minus 5 r by 6 see this is the general term this is that r plus 1 equal to minus 1 whole power r into 10 c r x power 20 minus 5 r by 6 but what we require exactly as per our question we have to calculate the term independent of x means that is coefficient of x power 0 should be 0 should be 0 means here 20 minus 5 r by 6 equals to 0 that is 20 minus 5 r equals to 0 so r equals to 20 by 5 r equals to this is 4 finally we calculate for r equals to 4 we are getting a term independent term in the given expansion so now expression you can spell it so put r equals to 4 here only finally we are getting t5 t5 which is equals to minus 1 whole power r minus plus only this is equals to 10 c4 the rest of the term becomes x4 here which is equals to 1 so which is equals to 10 factorial by 10 minus 4 6 factorial into 4 factorial which is equals 6 factorial gets cancelled finally it remains 7 into 8 into 9 into 10 by 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 now 2 into 4 8 gets cancelled 3 how many times 3 times ok 7 into 3 how much here 21 21 into 10 2 10 this is final answer so this is the required conclusion so what is the independent term in the given expansion 2 10 now let's compare with the given options what are the given options here see first one is 120 this is incorrect second one is 210 this is the correct option so finally this is the required conclusion at last what is the process we applied here simply uh, i did very much slow here see what is the process we applied here simply by applying simple logics we converted that lengthy expression lengthy expression means lengthy expansion into a simple expansion that is x power 1 by 3 minus x power whole power minus 1 by 2 whole power 10 from that easily we calculated independent term of x that is 210 thanks for watching all the best